Cinerama was the first widescreen, big screen film experience. In the 40s and 50s, television in America had taken over an awful lot of the traditional territory of cinema, and audiences were flooding away from the box office. Cinerama came back and showed people an experience of film, presented them with a, a view of the world which the television could not give them. It showed the way forward for film in the subsequent 40 years. Remarkably, Cinerama uh, hasn't been seen for over 25 years. And, and that's, I guess, why we're doing it as a museum. I mean, we're a museum of film. Um, we have Britain's largest cinema screen, the IMAX screen. Um, and here in the Pictureville Cinema, we will have the world's only Cinerama. Cinerama used a large curved screen made up of over a thousand vertical slats. To create the required effect, three images were displayed side by side and widescreen movies were born. Three synchronized projectors were used and they were adjusted so that the joins between the images were hardly noticeable. The effect was to revolutionize the cinema. got three projectors here in the auditorium which meant that you had to take three cameras out onto location. Cinerama took the special three camera system plus a seven track sound recorder to record the sound and image together live in the environment and the result is really quite extraordinary because the sound and the image come together uh, uh, to create really quite an extraordinary sense of, of, of being there. The technique was the brainchild of American Fred Waller, an inventor and special effects pioneer. The first film, appropriately called This Is Cinerama, opened on Broadway in September 1952. Sadly, Fred Waller died a year later, but his invention lived on and came to Britain in 1954. It survived into the early 60s. It failed ultimately because it didn't get a major Hollywood backer early enough and the cost of installing Cinerama was prohibitively expensive for a lot of theatres. I have never seen Cinerama before I started working on this project. It's been a piece of uh, detective work and archaeology. It's been extremely exciting. It's the culmination of, uh, of a lot of work of people here at the museum and around the world. It's just very exciting to see all of that coming together and to feel that one actually has done something very worthwhile in terms of saving something for future generations to see.